All right, what is up, guys? It is Woody, and we are back with some more Legacy crap. And as you guys can see, I am, I'm hurting kind of bad right now with the lag. Um, so I'm up to 40 levels, and we're gonna enchant some stuff since uh, we fought the temple. We lost a lot of stuff, so I pretty much have nothing, nothing. I've been working on a bow. Um, I'll show you this little beast bow. I'm working on the highest bow in Minecraft. Okay, Infinity, I'm breaking, Flame, Punch, Power Five. But uh, we're not going to do that right now. Um, I got a few decent bows here I'm going to use to go exploring today. Alright. So, we need lapis. Because it takes lapis enchant now. And we're low on all kinds of material. Iron stuff from the farms and stuff. So, what we're going to do is pop these guys off real quick. Bam! Suck on that, son. Alright, let's get these last couple guys. Can't see them, but... Uh... That's it. Okay. So we got 42. It's really hard to get up after 30. Hi, Addy. <laughs> okay. She might have killed some. But <laughs> uh, let's see what we got. Respiration. Pitch it. We're full on chests. I need to make an item sorting um, thing. And we're going to put the spawner up there with the crusher. So let me grab some of this stuff. I don't think we got anything good. I did find some Death Strider ones, uh, not really good, but I'll just go through this real quick. Um, I'm thinking about making some type of weapon shop or armor shop or giving it to 90 for him to make one, um, but I'm not sure right now. Let's see, just trying to go through these real quick. I know you guys don't want to see mine in forever, so ooh, protect, projectile protection. Ooh, let's take this one, I guess. Oh, I threw it. Crap. Oh, well. Oh, well. Nope. Nope. Um. Nope. Nope. Get away, get away, get away. No. God, there's a lot of stuff here. Oops. I don't even know what that helmet was. Whatever. Alright, so... Uh. Alright, so we're good to go, I think. Oh. Actually, no, oh, I got thorns on, so don't need that. Hoping we pick up that one helmet again. Get away from me. Okay, okay. Oh, don't get away. Oh, God. Okay, enough. Alright. So let's go. Put those out of my inventory now. Alright, let's go enchant some stuff. Um, I brought some books along with me. All right, so in case we get some crappy items. Um, I'm looking for another pick. I don't have any pick right now. <sighs> Should I go for that one? Uh, I have my ender chest upstairs, so if I do need an efficiency pick. Ah, that sucks. All right, so that'll be all right. Let's see, knockback, man, anthropods. Not a good one. Let's go with one book on Well, the axe and see what we get. Fortune 3 on the axe. Efficiency 2. It'll probably be the same for the shovel too, I think. Yeah. Alright, let's go with the book. Um, let's go with level 1 on the book. Feather Falling 1. Being anthropod Unless it's something good on 3, I'm not going for that. Alright. I'm not going to set around anymore. Let's see what we can get on a sword. I'm breaking. Ooh, I kind of like that. Let's go with that. We need a sword. Ooh, looting two. Not bad. Sharpness three. Okay. So that'll work. That'll work. And if I'm breaking, we can use it. Uh, let's see what we get on a... Uh, see what we get on a shovel. We need a shovel. I'm breaking three. Let's go with this. And hopefully... You know what? Hold on. Let's do the axe. So if we get something bad on the axe, we can always go to the shovel. And uh, Death is on now, so you'll see him running around. Uh, that is Addy's son, actually, in case you didn't know. Um, let's go make a diamond pickaxe. I don't think I want to do an axe right now. I got one, efficiency four. Um, if we get Silk Touch, we might do Silk Touch just so we can save them up until we get the levels. Oh, I didn't, do I, I don't even know if I have any sticks on me. Uh, let me see if I have any sticks in here. I don't. I'm going to have to go get some sticks, guys. 
So let's go back here. Um, this seems like the closest place. Uh, and if you missed the last episode, we found a temple and overtook the temple. Uh, we are working on... Uh, should have. Let's use this helmet. Uh, we are working on a spawner for that. I do have it done for the most part, but we're going to have to fill some water in. I don't think I'm going to do a tutorial on it until 1.8 comes out. Um, but I will show you guys that in a later episode. Uh, I did, I did um, do it on Twitch live stream. So if you do want to see how I did it, go ahead and I keep my past broadcasts. You can go onto my Twitch, which is in my description. Go to my channel and go to past broadcasts and watch us build the whole thing. The whole thing all together took about 10 hours to build in survival. Um, that's us having the materials and stuff. So... Um, it's it's a pretty long task and it's not what what do you got down there you're throwing all my stuff son you have your helmet um but yeah it's probably not worth it to do it oh my goodness i didn't freaking get the sticks let's just make oh i got a crafting table down here never mind haha -ha, i put that there for a reason Ta -da! and that would be the reason because i never i always grab it and never freaking um, make my stuff. Let's see what we get. I'm breaking three. Wow. Please be freaking fortune. Oh, goodness. All right, let's go with the uh, shovel. See what we get. So touch for, ugh, for a shovel. No. Let's go with this. Ooh, I will take that though. Oh, yeah, I can get it, can I? Good deal. I'll take a feather falling four. And protection, good deal. All right, so we need to get one more level. Hold on, let me ask Eddie if I can have a level. No? Yes, no? Did you see it? Thanks. All right, so let's get a level. Oh. Thank you. And we're gonna do one more pickaxe. <laughs> so this ain't turned out the way I wanted it to turn out. Um, I was hoping I'd just get fortune. Yeah. All right, so let's hopefully we get it here. Or else we're not gonna have a good fortune pickaxe. Fortune or so touch, man. Any one of those will do. Wow, I got a lot of junk on me, don't I? And we'll put this up here. These two. That's a really crappy book. But um, oh well, I guess. So we're going for it, whatever it is. Um, it's it's kind of pointless not to. And then we can get some more levels mining and stuff. Um, I'm really looking for lapis. I'm not really looking for diamonds or nothing like that, but lapis, you know, fortune affects that too, so. Man, I just, I can't believe I did that again. Oh, we got four sticks up in our chest now. What am I doing? Man, it's early today. All right. Come on, baby. Give me something good. So touch. We'll take it. We'll take it. That at least lets us save the blocks. Um, I know it isn't going to give me fortune on that because it contra contradicts or counteracts fortune, so. But, we can at least pick up those blocks and save them until we get a fortune on later. Alright, so we're good to go. I will meet you guys back at the house. I'm going to grab my silk touch shears. And uh, we might put up some spider webs in the mine today when we get back and stuff. Um, it's going to be a longer episode, I know. I'm slacking on videos. Ooh, what am I doing? There's a creeper right behind me, too. Um, so that's why I'm doing a little bit longer episode and I will catch you as soon as I get all my backpack stuff ready. Okay, so I'll be right back guys. Hold on. Alright guys, I am back and we are off to C90. 90 is not home right now. If you leave your name, number, and a brief message, he'll be sure to get back to you. Um, no, he has a cave or a mine shaft underneath his, uh, his little house here and I need some cobwebs. So we're going to go exploring underneath it. Um, if we find anything, we'll give them compensation. But uh, 
As for mine shafts, I've deleted my screenshots and I don't want to have to look for one. So, he has one. We'll just have to compensate him something if we find something. So, I don't know where it's at. All I know is it's down here. So, he's probably mining the crap out of this. But uh, hopefully that runs somewhere. I don't know how well he's explored it. But uh, I'm mainly after the cobwebs and some lapis. Which he's probably already gotten too, but not the cobwebs. So, let's go down here. Uh, that's out. I know he does his torches like I do, so we should be able to find it fairly easy. Let me see. Come on. There we go. Good deal. Alright, so before we go down, let's take the inner chest out. And grab these babies. Alright. So that's all we really need right now. And that silk touch. Oh yeah, right there's some cobwebs. We're gonna get a whole couple stacks because we're gonna sell some to Addy. She wants some, I need some, I'm gonna get a whole bunch. Um, hopefully we find a freaking cave spider spawner down here. There's some coal, I don't want no coal. We'll help him light this baby up. Wow, he's been down quite a ways actually. And I did not bring a bucket. That's about the only thing I didn't bring. Alright, so. Get some iron. We definitely need iron. We're almost out. I think I got like a stack left. Oh, look at this. Oh, watch this boat. Watch this boat. Oh. Yeah, get some. Get some. That's not the power five. That's just a flame one punch. One, uh, I think power three. Alright. So. What is up, guys? If you haven't seen my Twitch, go ahead and head over there. Um, I do streaming on that Monday. Uh, Monday and Friday is the Grand Skies, and Wednesday is Lazy Craft. On the weekends, I do whatever, some speed art. Ooh, 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 ooh. All right, good deal. Um, yeah, I really ain't got much to talk about. How about a q and A? I'll ask you some common questions. Um. Let's see, what are some common questions? I need a bucket. Let's make a bucket real quick. Um, I don't think I have one in here. We're gonna set up shop real quick here. All right, there we go. Light it up a little bit. Ah! All right, so first question I get asked about a lot. Can you draw me some art? This is the deal, guys. Um, I do graphic design for a living. I'm not one of those kids that gets on YouTube and does graphic design. I actually do graphic design as a way of payment. Um, I do tattoos and stuff like that too, and you know, any kind of art. So, and I do sell my art. Uh, let's put these up here, put this down here, right here. Um, so if you guys want something, let me know, but if you be serious about paying. Um, it's not expensive for you guys. Um, graphic wise, in the real world, I do charge quite a bit of money. But um, as for YouTube and stuff, yeah, it's kind of a hobby thing with the graphics. But uh, we need to get some, I don't have a crafting table. Hmm. But um, it's kind of like a hobby thing on YouTube. I like doing it, um, but still want to make money off of it as it being a talent in an art form that not everybody can do. So, oh man, look at this. Um, I don't know, let's just say like, five bucks for an avatar or something like that, or 20 bucks for a banner, pretty cheap. Okay, typical, I guess those are typical prices probably. And if you guys have seen my work, it's, I mean, so they say it's definitely worth it. Um, I don't wanna be conceited and arrogant, but that's what people say. So listen to them, they say it's worth it. It's probably worth it. Um, I wouldn't buy art only because I do art. But if I didn't do art and I found someone good, I would do it. I'd buy some art. But um, anyways, that's probably that question. So I can draw you a picture, but it's not free, okay? So, um, do I have kids? That's another proper question. Even though they're always screaming in the background, yes, I have kids, I have three kids. I have two boys and a girl here, and I do have a, a daughter who comes over too. I am not with her mother, and um, they're young. 
let's just say that they're young and loud and obnoxious. I know, guys. I apologize all the time for them, but kids will be kids. So, how long have I been doing art? I've been doing art since I was, like, let's just say two years old. Since I could pick up a pencil, I've been doing art. So, yeah, I've been doing it a long time. And everybody asks, can you help me with my art? I can't help you with the art. I can give you some tips and stuff, the regular tips you can find on YouTube and stuff. But as for art, it's God-given talent and time and practice. Um, good artists are good artists, just like good singers are good singers. Um, you can train all you want, and you may match wits and learn the science behind it. But overall, mine's just talent. It's not and practice. I mean, I've been doing it for a long time. But um, if you guys ever want any tips or anything, just get on my live stream. Let me know. I'll give you whatever tips I can um, for becoming better. I can't say you're going to be excellent. I'm not saying I'm excellent. Um, I'm going to make a bucket. Oh, I got a bucket right there. I'm an idiot. Um, but yeah, and uh, what tablet do I use? I use Wacom Intuos, uh, small I believe it is, and I, I got another Intuos too, an older version, a large. Um, I'm not even sure what the freaking numbers are behind it, but yeah, uh, just pretty much it, and that'll suit anybody regularly starting out. I want to get a Syntex Pro, you know, but they're like 24 inch, I think it's 24 inch or 22 inch HD. But they're thousands of dollars, bro. Thousands of dollars. So, right now, I just use Intuos. I'm broke, so. Um, that'll suit anybody. If you guys want to get a cheap tablet and start practicing, that's probably the best one you can get. I bought mine for like 100, 100 to 120 bucks, somewhere around there. Um, and it's small. It's small, but you get used to it. So, it's all you need to do is just get used to some stuff, guys. So, let's, uh, let's grab this up. I'll cut the questions for now. Uh, I get a lot of questions actually, but I don't think I don't think uh, Q and A's are good for much unless you got bunches of subs, bunches of oh, bunches of questions. So those are the most common ones. Oh, can you get on? The, can I get on the server? Or what's your server? Don't just don't even ask, man. Just don't even ask anymore. Um, I've said it so many times in my videos. Um, go watch my videos. And it's not that I don't want to go. Hey, yeah, this is how you do it. But that is, it's, I, I don't want to say that's how you do it anymore. I've told you guys, if you're new, show the dedication. I mean, you're definitely not going to get on a server by just coming around for the first time and going, dude, can I get on and play with you? No, sorry. No, I'm going to be really blunt. No. Um, but I do on my live streams, I tell you what, um, how to do it and stuff. All you got to do is make a video, be 14 plus, and tell me why you want on the server and why you'd be good for the server. Um, and a lot of people that ask about the server, they don't ever do that, which shows me there's no dedication behind it. There's no willpower to do anything. And why even ask if you're not even going to play and make that effort? So that's why I have the video thing going. But um, Because if you're willing to make a video, you're willing to be heard. That shows some effort behind it. It shows that you're kind of sincere about it. Um, it doesn't exactly show who the person is, but it shows me that you want it if you're willing to go up to that extent and actually do it. It's kind of like an application. You go into a place and you go, hey, are you hiring? And they go, we're taking applications. And you're like, never mind. <laughs> like, why? Why would you even ask if you didn't, weren't willing to fill that application out? Oops, let's get my efficiency, not that. But that's kind of the concept behind that. If you're not willing to fill out an application, don't even ask for the job. You know, pretty much. Same here. If you're not willing to f do the video for the server, then don't even ask to get on the server because I'm going to look at you and I'm going to go, wow, he probably doesn't really want on. He's not really dedicated and he's not really into it, which is not a bad thing. You don't got to be on the server, but uh, that's how you do it if you guys want to do it, okay? So, ooh, a flower in the cave. It's like the rose that grew from concrete by Tupac. Uh, <laughs> I don't know where that came into my head from. I guess I'm just tired. Um... I really had nothing planned for this video, guys, except for caving. And caving is usually boring, which is kind of why I'm just trying to rant a little bit and give you guys some of the answers to the questions you have before you even ask them. Um, what computer do I have? Um, I am so cheap, bro. I am so cheap. I don't have a gaming computer. I I used to be... I was born before the internet came out. And you're like, what? 
There never used to be an internet? No, nope, never used to be an internet. I'm not like crazy old. I'm 28. But I can remember back when I was like 15. YouTube wasn't out. It was like we had dial up and you guys maybe not know what dial up is. That is like you're dialing a phone and then it connects, you know, you, you get on the phone, you call, it rings and the other line picks up. That was what dial up was is the internet. And oh my God, it took forever. Sometimes you didn't get on and, but that was the first internet, man. Um, other than like satellite phones and stuff that can be counted as internet, I guess. But I mean, not like internet, but I guess I could be counted as like the first Wi-Fi kind of thing. Cause you connect to the satellite like DSL or something. But what? Oh, I know I saw some more. Um, but yeah, I remember before the internet and we used to ride bikes and go on walks to the park and explore like nearby forests and stuff. And that's what you guys need to do, man. That's what you guys need to do. Get off this game stuff. Um, I'm on it because I love it. I do. I'm on it all the time. Um, but I think back to when I was like a kid and we didn't have it and, um, I've always played games and stuff, but it wasn't like a big thing back then. It was like a, I'd rather ride my bike than play these video games. It was like a, I'm at home, what am I gonna do? And I'm gonna do this, can't get hold of my friends type thing. But yeah, I remember when there wasn't the internet, so. Um, <clears throat> but I am cheap, I am cheap. Um, I kind of got off subject there, but uh, back before there was internet, when I was growing up, there wasn't none, okay? So when that came out, it was like the popular freaking thing. It was like, oh, I have internet, I'm rich. And that's how it was, but nowadays everybody has it, so you're like, oh, I got the internet. And then it's like, what, you don't have the internet? Um, but back then, no one, it was expensive when it first came out, man. You had to pay the extra price for cable and stuff like that. Right, I remember the big dish satellites, not the little ones that fit on your house. I'm talking about like the space station satellites that sat in your backyard. You wanted to change the channel, you had to wait for that thing to rotate. Um, <laughs> but, ooh, there's some lapis. Um, but anyways, when the internet first came out, just like anything new, people tried to find ways to um, take advantage of it. And I was, n <laughs> I was by means, no different. Um, I became a hacker, man. I did, really, like, hack, hack. Not like, oh, I'm gonna hack your email. No, like, I did hacking stuff, all right? Um, but I got out of that when I grew up, so don't worry, I don't do it no more. But it gave me coding knowledge um, for scripts and HTML and XML and CSS and all that stuff. So that in turn taught me how to work on computers. Um, so I have a cheap computer. It's an HP Pavilion I bought from Walmart, but I've tweaked the specs, I've tweaked a lot of things in it, such as my graphics. Um, and I've made it really powerful for what kind of computer it is. And I think we're gonna go up a little bit back into this mine shaft. Um, but yeah, I made it really powerful for what it is because I, I grew up on that stuff and I know how to do it. So that's why you see most of the older guys, um, they know how to work on computers because they were around when they first like home computers came out. All right, so where am I going? I really don't know where this mine shaft was. Um, I wish I would have placed the torches on the right side alone. I think it was down here. Um, but yeah, so I got an HP Pavilion. Uh, I think it's got an Intel Core dual processor in it. And uh, no graphic, this is a graphics card. Um, I'm looking to get some better graphics card to play better games for you guys. But like I said, donations. And that brings me out, how do I donate? Uh, I got donate buttons on my YouTube. I got donate buttons on my Twitch. Um, Donations are never for profit. Everybody, at, oh, you trying to make money off donate? No, not trying to make money off donations. Just trying to give you guys better software, um, better quality videos with better software, um, games, like the, the newest, hottest games. You guys want to see them being played by people. Um, that helps me afford them because I work a nine to five and I have, like I just said, four kids. Um, I, ow. But um, those donations help me feed this YouTube and entertain you more. And I love entertaining you guys, but it's not a cheap hobby, man. It takes a lot of work. Um, it takes a lot of time and it takes a lot of money because those games cost money to play. So every time you see someone playing the newest games, um, I don't I don't bootleg games. 
I mean, I could, but I try to stay legit. Um, and, uh, but they cost money if you're for real. So that helps pay for them. It helps pay for like my new microphone. Um, I got paid from Google, bought the new microphone, stuff like that. It wasn't even donations. It was just Google money um, from YouTube. But all my YouTube stuff goes back into YouTube. Um, games, equipment to make better quality videos for you guys, games to play for you guys. Um, my giveaways, uh, my last giveaway, definitely. I got some donation money and I put it back towards you guys, okay? Um, I know a lot of people didn't, like, I'm not a big channel, so not a lot of people. Is that a slime? No. So not a lot of, ooh, look at chest. I wonder if 90 found it, probably. melon seeds or pumpkin seeds but um i put it back to you guys in donations and that's what i do i never use that money for profit um it'll either go towards that stuff or keeping the server open or something like that so i can make videos on the server obviously but uh yeah and if i get enough donation money like later on i want to open a fan server and you know like a mini game server oh i got the hiccups and stuff like that <clears throat> so you never have to donate. I'm not trying to go, hey, donate, dude. No, not like that. But um, just letting you guys know, I do get the questions on it about if people that want to donate, how do I do it? Like my um, all my pictures I draw um, for YouTube, I don't. That goes straight into my donation money, and I give that back to people too. So if you want to buy a picture, it's going towards a good cause too. So same with the T-shirts and stuff. Don't use that for profit. I just use that for um, my YouTube stuff. So. Anyways, what other questions do I get? I don't get a lot of questions because I'm not a huge channel. Um, other than can I like can I play with you and stuff like that? Oh, uh, I don't know if I have any more cobblestone. I have stone. There we go. All right, but uh, yeah, the whole can you play with me, dude? I do collapse so much. If you ever get on and I'm playing PvP or something, I don't. I don't like to have Skype on people unless I'm. Unless I know you pretty well. So. Ooh, come on. Go down. Okay, we're going to go there. Yeah. All right, there we go. Um, but if I'm streaming, like, that's an awesome way to say, hey, can I play with you? What is that? Oh, I must kill a spider. But um, I don't do it on, like, the Grand Skies or the Legacy Craft. Not that. Um, you heard the way to get on Legacy Craft, and uh, Grand Skies, I play solo. Most of the modded servers I do too, like single player survival. Ooh, ooh, case, ooh, case spider spawner. Nope. But um, like if I'm playing PvP on there, which I do, I haven't done it as much lately. Oh, you suck. I haven't done it as much lately. Come on, give me hell. Oh shit. Damn it, I just threw that. Nope. Ooh. I just threw it and I missed myself. It scared the shit out of me. Um, I don't do PvP so much anymore, but I am planning to get up more and more into it. Um, I'm just not a PvP. -er. I mean, I love it, but I just... I can't sustain a video with it. Um, oh my gosh, I need some food. Let me get some food real quick. But yeah, so... That is what is up with that. I will play. I will collab. Um, and the way, the best way to do this is, if you want to play with me, if you want to get on the stream, like I don't want to sound like a freaking ooh douchebag, but donations do help. And any YouTuber will tell you that. I look at the people that donate towards me, and come to my stream regularly because they show dedication, they show support, and that is the that is the most. Uh, how do I say this? Um, that is the fan you want. That's the subscriber you want. Whether it be follower for Twitch or subscriber for YouTube or on your Twitter, you want the people that are coming back, that are talking, or being active, that are donating because they show support. They're there for you. And it's just like a friend, man. Um, if you're in a down place and you need someone, you don't want that dude you met at the bar last night because he's not reliable. You want the dude to keep showing up that's there for you that you know is gonna be there, <clears throat> okay? So, uh-uh, nope, don't even try it, bro. Um, 
so yeah, donating and being supportive and regular on the stream. And for some reason, these guys are glitching in walls, even though the spawners are lit up. So um, I gotta check and see if that bug's reported. Like they'll keep spawning. They'll just spawn in that wall, no matter how lit up it is. Um, we found a zombie spawner and we had it fully lit up. And, ooh, how'd I get string? But we found a zombie spawner fully lit up in the new stamp shop 14W25B. And um, we had it totally, I mean like torched out. Cause we were like, where are these guys coming from? And they were just glitching, see? They were just glitching in the wall like that and spawning. Cause the wall's dark. And I guess the, something's wrong with the coating. Um, but yeah, so be careful around your spawners in the snapshot because they will continue to spawn in the wall. And if one gets loose out of that wall, you're going to have a bad time, especially with cave spawners. But yeah, back to that. Um, yeah, those are probably the best ways to play with me and collab. Ooh, we got a double spawner here. Maybe. That's way down there though, I don't know. I got that other double spawner marked. Yeah, that's a double spawner. All right. Put some torches up over here. All right. So guys, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna cut this into a two part. Um, I'm gonna try to edit them at the same time, but the next one will be up tomorrow, okay? So don't expect the second one right up after it. I'm gonna fill some spots for you guys so I don't have any voids and days, I guess you could say. Ooh, here he comes. Ah! But we're gonna take out these spawners first. Actually, you know what? I think I'm gonna cut it right here, and um, you guys can chase the suspense, okay? So, I will catch you guys in part two, all right? So, ah! Ah! No, get away! See you guys later! What do you out? Peace! Ah, get away, get away, no, oh, <laughs> oh man, that sucks. All right, guys, so on second thought, <laughs> oh my God, I lost all my stuff. Um, we're going to end the video here. Um, that was a tragic way to end the video. Freaking cave spiders. Yes, it's that bad. <laughs> I wish I could cap lock freaking letters. <laughs> All right, so I will catch you guys in the next video. I hope you guys enjoyed it. A um, little bit of Q&A or on Twitch. I mean, whichever one you decide to come to first. Um, so I'm going to go on and do some MT mechanics for you guys on the adventure map. And we'll get that video up later. Um, I don't know how later, so don't quote me. It's not going to be up right after this. But um, I will catch you guys later. I got to go freaking grind some spawners again. So... Later, Woody out. Peace. And do you have any milk left, Addy? At all? Two. Okay, save them. Because after we get the elders, we're going to drink it. And straight down, this should be the room with the gold. I have two Ooh, and this stuff's flowing. Huh? You want one? I have two invisibility left. No, I was talking about milk.